The tennis legend Novak Djokovic is clinging to the hope that he'll somehow be allowed to compete in the 2023 Australian Open. He's also been receiving support from fellow tennis legend Nick Kyrgios. The Aussie called for his country to welcome the world number seven with open arms. The 35-year-old Serbian tennis player has had his visa banned for a second time, along with what might be a three-year ban from Australia. Here's everything we know. First things first, will we be seeing Djokovic at the Australian Open? Djokovic was going to be playing in the 2022 Australian Australian Open after he was granted a medical exemption to compete even though he was unvaccinated, but his visa was cancelled after he arrived at Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport on Wednesday, January 5th. Djokovic was told he would have to leave the country on January 6th. He left Australia after making a last-ditch effort to have his visa cancellation overturned in federal court, but to no avail. Djokovic was later seen at Melbourne's Tullamarine Airport on Sunday, January 16th at 10.30 p.m., flanked by Australian federal police officers as he he boarded an Emirates flight to Dubai. The only way he can return to Australia is if he requests that the ban be lifted by demonstrating compassionate and compelling circumstances, which must be assessed during the visa application process and is known as Public Interest Criteria 4013. Now, let's talk about how Kyrgios hoped Djokovic would make it. As tennis legend Novak Djokovic continues to cling to the hope that he will be permitted to compete in the 2023 Australian Open, he's received so much support from fellow tennis great Nick Kyrgios, who called for Australia to welcome the number seven with open arms. Kyrgios told the Sydney Morning Herald that he hopes he's here for the sport, since we just recently saw one of the legends, Roger Federer, leave the sport, and those are going to be some shoes that no one is ever going to be able to fill. He added that he wants to see the best players in the world there. Him being a competitor, he wants to see Novak play. For Kyrgios, Djokovic has been a major inspiration when it comes to competing, and that's why he hopes he will see his former Wimbledon rival on the court next year. The 27-year-old Aussie player talked about how Djokovic is some of the reasons why he plays. Djokovic also recently admitted that he stayed optimistic that he might be able to get the chance to enter the country and compete in the upcoming competition. He told Sportal that when it comes to Australia, there are always some positive signs, but unofficially, because they're communicating through his lawyers in Australia. He added that, in fact, they are communicating with the authorities in charge of his case, and he hopes to have an answer in the next few weeks. But whatever that answer might be, of course, Djokovic is hoping for a positive one. He hopes it'll be soon, so that he'll have enough time to prepare for the start of the season. If that start happens in Australia, moving on, could all of this have been avoided if Djokovic had just gotten vaccinated? The 35-year-old also thought back on his choice to remain unvaccinated, despite the impact it has had on his sporting career. He explained that he's never offended anyone or ever tried to be disrespectful in any way, and he's always tried to show that it is important for everyone to have the right and freedom of choice. In that same vein, he knew that for the choices he has made, there would be certain consequences, like not going to America, and that is it. But for Australia, it was a different case. He had the exception, but in the end, it did not work out. He says this time he was waiting for the permission again, and even though it's a good thing that they've now opened the borders for the unvaccinated foreigners traveling to Australia, he still has his ban, which he hopes will be lifted. In conclusion, it really isn't in Djokovic's hands. All he can do now is hope that people in the Australian government will give a positive answer. Up next, why was Djokovic's visa cancelled in the first place? Djokovic was granted a temporary activity visa on 18th November 2021 by the Department of Home Affairs. Under the terms of the visa, he was eligible to enter and stay in Australia for a duration of three months, which started from his first arrival in Australia on the visa. On 5th January 2022, Djokovic reached Melbourne Tullamarine Airport at about 11.30 p.m. Soon after he arrived, the pro-Serbian tennis player was detained by a delegate of the Department of Home Affairs for questioning. The most interesting part of all this was the fact that the question lasted approximately eight hours, and that, for the most part, Mr. Djokovic was unable to communicate with his team or lawyers because he was instructed to turn off and put away his phone. He was unable to contact anyone, including his lawyers, between 11.30 p.m. and 8 o'clock a.m. the following morning. Moving on, this was the second time Djokovic's visa was cancelled. Even though Novak Djokovic had managed to win and had the first cancellation of his visa overturned, he still ended up losing his right to stay in Australia when the Minister for Immigration exercised his personal powers and cancelled the visa for the second time. The 34-year-old lost his court appeal against the second cancellation of his visa on January 16th, which left him unable to defend his title in the 2022 Australian Open. He's now facing what might be a three-year ban on coming back to Australia. Prime Minister Scott Morrison welcomed the court's decision in a statement released January 16th, in which he said that the full Federal Court of Australia unanimously decided to dismiss Novak Djokovic's application for judicial review, which was meant 
went to challenge the minister for the decision immigration made to cancel his visa. He explained that this cancellation decision was made based on safety and good order grounds, health on the basis that it was in the public interest to do so, adding that he welcomed the decision to keep their border strong and to keep Australian citizens safe. Morrison thanked the court for its prompt attention to these issues, as well as everyone involved for their patience as we worked to resolve this matter. He concluded by saying it was time to get back to the Australian Open and enjoy the summer of tennis. Finally, let's talk about what Djokovic had to say about the situation. In a statement, Djokovic said he was extremely disappointed with the court's decision, but would respect the ruling and cooperate with authorities. He said he was extremely disappointed with the ruling to dismiss his application for judicial review of the decision to cancel his visa, which meant he couldn't participate in the Australian Open. Djokovic added that he respects the court's ruling and would cooperate with the relevant authorities. The Serbian pro tennis player said he was uncomfortable that the focus of the past weeks had been on him and hoped that everyone could now focus on the game and tournament he loves. He also wished all of the players, staff, tournament officials, volunteers and fans all the best for the tournament. Finally, Djokovic thanked his family, friends, team, supporters, fans and his fellow Serbians for their continued support since they had all been a great source of strength to him. Coming up next, here are some updates that sum up Nick Kyrgios's year. Nick Kyrgios says his life has been good this year and he's currently resting at home ahead of the 2023 season. Kyrgios captioned his Instagram story, saying he was just chilling back home, taking it all in. At 27, he's playing great tennis, making money, staying healthy. The man's truly blessed. Now, let's talk about how successful Kyrgios's career has been this year. Kyrgios enjoyed the best season of his career this year. Right at the start of the year, Kyrgios became a Grand Slam champion after he and Tanasi Kokonakis managed to win the Australian Open men's doubles title. After that, Kyrgios made his first Grand Slam singles final at Wimbledon, but in this he fell short to Novak Djokovic. Kyrgios, who also made the US Open quarterfinal, has managed to earn just less than $3 million in prize money this year. Lastly, Kyrgios has his eyes set on the Australian Open title. This week, Kyrgios posted a workout picture with a caption saying he was coming for the Australian Open title. After enjoying the deep runs he made at Wimbledon and the US Open, Kyrgios is absolutely determined to win his maiden Grand Slam singles title in front of his home fans. Kyrgios also sent some support to record nine-time Australian Open champion Djokovic. 35-year-old Djokovic was handed a three-year ban from entering Australia and is hoping to have his visa back ahead of the 2023 Australian Open. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Djokovic will be able to get his ban lifted in time for the Australian Open, or will Kyrgios claim the title in his absence? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.